Hi, my name is Sapna Kumar. Um, let me tell you a little bit about myself. I was born in India and raised in Indiana. I found myself in a cornfield eating a bowl of curry, feeling tragically displaced. I was raised by conservative Indian parents. They didn't always approve of my performer lifestyle. I remember when I went to college and told my mom I was gonna study acting. My mom was like, Sapna, how could you do this to our family? How could you ruin our good name? To get up on stage like a painted harlot? Where did you learn this acting? <laughs> So I used to do a lot of theater around the city of Chicago, and Chicago's got a lot of these small storefront theaters, nothing glamorous. You go on these auditions, they give you a form that tells you about the play. I went on this audition, it gave me a form. It said, this play will be produced in an apartment, converted into a 10-seat theater. It then asked the questions, are you allergic to cats? What's your tolerance level to smoking? So I just imagined acting in a play to an audience of 10 cats each of whom were smoking cigarettes. <laughs> Once upon a time, my mom wanted me to marry a nice Indian boy and have babies. I would have these nightmares of my mother. She'd be crawling through my ovaries. Not much going on in here. <laughs> She'd pull out an egg and scream, Sapna, when are you going to use this? <laughs> it's like, probably never, mom, because both my girlfriend and I are on the pill. <laughs> I never formally came out to my parents, but I did to you guys. <laughs> Actually, my parents learned about my sexuality through the more conventional parental method of sitting down and reading all my journals. <laughs> I had thought of really cute ways of letting them know, like leaving poetry around the house that said, Dear Mom and Dad, roses are red, violets are blue, our cat is a lesbian, and I am too. Love, Sapna. <laughs> So my mom gave me something only a mother can give her daughter. She gave me a complex. <laughs> I'd wake up every morning and she'd say, Sapna, you know if you drink a warm glass of lime juice every morning, it will flush all your fat. I said, thanks mom, I'll be sure to do that after I drink my shot of espresso and my two shots of low self-esteem. <laughs> So my mom had this family friend who we called Auntie, and Auntie got divorced, and she called me up, and she said, Hey, Sapna, I recently became single, and I'm going to try the online dating. I just got on eBay. <laughs> I said, Auntie, unless you're planning on dating a barely used sofa, that is not a dating website. So my parents had a couple of cats, uh, Nehru and Gandhi, and... Uh, <laughs> Whenever Nehru the cat would attack Gandhi the cat, Gandhi the cat wouldn't fight back. <laughs> He'd just stop eating. <laughs> so growing up Indian, I had many choices. My dad said to me, Sapna, you can do anything you set your mind to. You can be a doctor, a lawyer, an engineer, an engineer, a lawyer, a doctor, a doctor, a lawyer, an engineer. <laughs> Or you can drive a taxi cab. <laughs> I chose comedy, oops. My dad used to pressure me to get straight A's in school. He'd say, Sapna, don't bring home B's. You know what B stands for? Be a failure. You know what they say, if at first you don't succeed, there is a strong likelihood you'll be a failure. <laughs> My dad used to always screw up words. We'd go to Starbucks, he'd get to the counter and be like, yes, I would like to have a crappuccino. <laughs> My mom's in the background being a smart aleck going, make sure you put extra crap in it for him, please. <laughs> Once my dad wrongly accused my brother of being on drugs. He was like, Rajiv, are you using infinity? I'm like, that's, I'm, that's, like, that's ecstasy, dad. <laughs> infinity is a car. <laughs> my dad would get the names of his favorite movies wrong. He's like, my favorite movie is when Harry was a Sally. <laughs> my dad, is that about a drag queen? So to please my parents, I got out of comedy for a while and I took a corporate job, but I had to quit because my boss was a jerk. He drove me to drink and I had to quit to keep from shooting him. <laughs> It's not a good idea to quit your job in an economic downturn. Um, <laughs> my friends started worrying about me. They're like, Sapna, are you eating right? Are you exercising? Are you seeing someone? I'm like, you know, I'm trying to eat right and exercise, but no, I'm not dating. They're like, no, 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 are you seeing someone? You know, like a therapist? Because you, <laughs> you really need to be. Got tired of going on job interviews. These days they make you work overtime. You gotta work weekends. I need time for cable TV. <laughs> And they always 
close an interview with that question. So, do you have any questions for us? I'm like, yeah, will I be able to work here and still keep up with the Kardashians? <laughs> One of the things they tell you when you're out of work is you should spend eight hours of your day on the computer looking for a job. Just like you'd spend eight hours of your day on the computer if you actually had a job. <laughs> yeah, thank you. So I would, I would Google my health symptoms. I'm like, oh my gosh, I have all the symptoms of fibromyalgia. Then I'm like, oh my gosh, stomach cramps. Oh no, PMDD. Then I'm like, oh no, I'm pregnant. Which is of course physically impossible because I haven't had sex with a man in years. But then I actually Googled this. Immaculate conception. <laughs> it's not on WebMD or Mayo Clinic. I was really upset to find out. But another thing they tell you if you're unemployed or if you're self-employed, which is a fancy way of being unemployed in this economy, <laughs> is to set up a schedule for yourself and stick to it. So I do. When I get up in the mornings, I climb on the furniture because the floor is made of lava. <laughs> then in the afternoons, I build a fort out of sofa cushions in the living room. I think highly of myself. My sister thinks highly of me. She introduces me to her friends and she's like, meet my sister, Sapna. She's a professional clown. I'm like, I'm a comedian. She's like, yeah, whatever, same difference. I gotta put out this mimed cigarette. It's killing me. I don't know why she smokes those things. Uh, my sister worries, though. She's like, Sapna, being self-employed. How are you gonna save for retirement? Who's gonna take care of you when you're old? Who is going to take care of you? I don't know. I went to the restaurant the other day. Waitress said, hi, I'm Jennifer. I'll be taking care of you. <laughs> I said, thank goodness Jennifer will be taking care of me. Now I can get my sister off my back. 